we do look forward to having more robust conversations about this. Uh, we would like to have more robust conversations. I believe that we get to have that opportunity uh, as with some of the conversations that a number of us have had uh, earlier this week. Hey, everybody. How's it going? A lot of you have asked what a robust conversation is, because whether it's in Maine or in Washington, the lobbyists for the Consumer Technology Association seem to keep referring to robust conversations. And it's interesting because often the senator will ask the lobbyist a direct question. And rather than answer that question, he'll talk about something else and then talk about how he would like to have a robust conversation about the senator's question. So I am going to propose a hypothesis, purely my opinion, as to what it is a robust conversation consists of. Margaret Whitman lost general election in California, $20,000. Gregory Meeks won general election in New York, $16,000. Ron Wyden won general election in Oregon, $12,000. Chuck Schumer won general election, $11,000. Daryl Izza won general election, $10,000. Now, one thing that I find interesting about this list, and one of the reasons that I think that the senators that were speaking to these lobbyists, in my opinion, seem to have much more hardball questions than at previous hearings I've attended, is if you look at the list recently, I don't see Derek Stanford's name on here, or Doug Erickson's name on here, or Marco Leas's name on here. Those names appear to be absent if you look at the recent list of robust conversations here, which I imagine is one of the reasons that he is that eager to have robust conversations with these senators. If you like this video and other right to repair videos like it, I encourage you to like, subscribe, and join us at patreon.com slash Rossman Group for a robust conversation. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something. Robust.